Desperate people do desperate things um, and place themselves in vulnerable positions. People think that human trafficking is just being kidnapped from one country and brought to another, um, that it is just a violent kidnapping, but in my case, it was leverage and coercion. And I was a young mother who wanted to fit in. I was looking for love in all the wrong places, and I fell in love with a man that I just thought was, he was the world, you know? He just loved me, and he treats me so good, and he buys me things, and I was his arm candy. And he took me to a party, and we were in a penthouse drinking champagne, y'all. And I thought that was just the greatest thing in the world. You know, I was a young mother. I had three children at the time. And I woke up with a man on top of me that wasn't him. And there were men standing along the wall waiting their mm. turn. I don't know how long before I passed out, but when I woke up, I was left alone there. And I didn't know the men who had victimized me and abused me that night, but they knew who I was. And I would go out, I, I got, got up, I was so ashamed and so afraid and so in shock that I got up and got dressed and I went home and I never said anything to anyone. I was just traumatized. I never heard from him again. And I, I didn't understand what had happened. What did I do? And I would go out to nightclubs and go to parties, and those men would lean over and whisper things in my ear about what they did to me that night. And I didn't know who they were, but they knew who I was. And I was raped again by another one of them in the hallway of a, of a disco. And, uh, and I just, I was so afraid I ran. And I took my children, I went to the West Coast. I lived on the East Coast at the time. And I ran, left my job, left everything, and ran, went to the West Coast. And in the West Coast, I found a little apartment for me and my children. And there was a man next door. He and his girlfriend and his girlfriend's sister lived there. And uh, I just thought they were nice people. They were there to help us. He was a pimp. And after realizing that I was in the clutches of something that was not healthy or holy, I was so afraid for my children and for myself that I didn't know what to do. I didn't know that to tell the police it meant take me away from my children. I didn't know what to do, but it didn't matter because after a month or so, he sold me to a gang. A gang came and told me I belonged to them and I, did what, I would do what they told me to do or else one of my daughters would. And I would have done anything to protect my chil children. And I knew that the less they knew, the safer they were.